Listening Library presents Who Was Queen Elizabeth? by June Eating. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was Queen Elizabeth? England, August 1588. A fleet of powerful Spanish warships is sailing toward England. The Spanish fleet, called the Armada, has 130 mighty ships. Each is heavily armed. Their goal is to invade the island nation. King Philip of Spain wants to be king of England as well. But England's ruler is brave and fearless. She is Queen Elizabeth. She does not intend to let the Spanish king take her throne. Her soldiers are waiting on the coast of England. They are ready to defend their country. The Queen's advisers do not want her anywhere near a battle. They worry about her safety. But Elizabeth does not listen. The Queen sets off on horseback from London to where the soldiers have set up camp. Elizabeth wants to be with her men. If there is a battle, words from the Queen herself will help lead her men to victory. The Queen rides up on a great horse. She passes among the crowd of soldiers. She wants everyone to hear words spoken from her heart. The Queen says she is there to live or die amongst you. Elizabeth is telling her soldiers that, even though she is queen, she is willing to die with them. She ends by saying, I know I have the body of but a weak and feeble woman, but I have the heart and stomach of a king, and of a king of England, too. With tears in her eyes, the queen promises, We shall shortly have a famous victory over our enemies. And she is right. The English ships are smaller than the Spanish ships, but they set many Spanish ships on fire and break up the enemy fleet. And the English also get lucky. There is very bad weather. Spanish ships try to flee and instead crash against England's rocky shore. They are destroyed. England is saved. People throughout the country rejoice. They call their brave Elizabeth... Good Queen Bess. For the rest of her life, and long after her death, Elizabeth's faithful and loving people would rejoice that she was their queen. Chapter 1 Young Elizabeth On September 7, 1533, a baby girl was born in a palace in Greenwich, England. Her father was King Henry VIII a handsome man who loved to hunt, to eat and drink, and to be in the company of beautiful women. Her mother, Queen Anne, was young and very beautiful indeed. The baby had her father's bright red hair and pale skin. When she was only three days old, the little princess was brought to church. She wore a long dress of silk and lace. Over it, a tiny robe trimmed in fur kept her warm one of the king's officers announced her arrival, the high and mighty Princess Elizabeth. It was a very grand occasion. The truth, however, was that Elizabeth's father was not at all happy over her birth. King Henry wanted a child of his to rule after him. But he did not want Elizabeth to be queen. Certainly a woman could not rule a country all by herself. Besides, Henry already had one daughter from his first marriage. Princess Mary was now seventeen years old. Queen Anne had promised Henry a boy. That's what Henry wanted, and Henry was a man who expected to get what he wanted. If he didn't, there could be big trouble. And soon there was. After the little princess was born, Henry was convinced that Queen Anne would never bear a son so he accused her of a crime she did not commit. Anne was put on trial and sentenced to death. Elizabeth was not even three years old when her mother was beheaded. Now King Henry was free to marry again, and within two weeks of Anne's death, he did. Luckily for the new queen, she gave birth to a baby boy. His name was Edward. What did this mean for little Elizabeth? It meant she was no longer important. 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?